Wake up, man. Wake up. Huh? What happened? My sister, she's downstairs. Oh, gosh. Come on, wake up. What is going on? Why you have me running around like a thief? I thought you said that she... She don't usually come home so early when she's spending night at her boyfriend's house. I don't want her to see you, okay? I thought you said that everything was all right and that you wanted me to meet her. Not now, not so. I too old for this foolishness, you know, girl. So what if she's seen it? What's it worse that can happen? Don't worry, she ain't gonna see you. I think she's in her room. Wait. Trisha? This is Don't Sylvester. tell me. Sylvester, this is my big sister, Maxine. You were leaving, sir? Take up your shoes. I see a side of your socks there. And continue on your way. I need to have a chat with this child in private. Uh, put them on, please. It is bad enough that a strange man is leaving my apartment at this hour of the morning. But at least it would be easier to explain to the neighbors if he has on shoes. Nice apartment you have here. Uh, I'll give you a call, okay? So that is where your standards drop? A man who could be old enough to be a grandfather? Well, it's not like I can't tell you about him. He didn't tell me you and he was going to turn my apartment into a hotel. Trisha, what you What you could see in a man like that? How you could go behind Jamal's back with a dry up old man like that? He could still get it up? Suppose he did get a heart attack and dead inside of here. Hmm? His clothes, a nice thing you like so, Trisha? Wait now. You gonna pay for me to play mass next year? Eh? Cause Jamal certainly ain't gonna do that. Every month. All he money does either go into his car or some kind of stick fighting thing with them children. You ever see anything so? What other middle class man you know? Born and bred in town. This waste of time stick fighting. Eh? You know, he never even play mass. At least he body could mm. take the jamming. Not like grandpa who just leave there. You know, I have a good mind, Trisha, to tell Jamal he is such a nice guy. To tell him what scenes you really own. Here now. You stay out of my business, eh? Me and Jamal have a special relationship that nobody can mash up. It's because I love him so much is why it's still best on the side. <laughs> I know he could manage the financial side of things. Well, this is a first. As a favor to your boyfriend, you go and give somebody else the chuku chuku. Anybody go and tell Jamal about Sylvester, go just cause a whole heap of pain for no reason at all. Right now, it's like he know, but he ain't want to know. The same new clothes you see in, he see in them too, but he don't ask where they come from. I buy the boy a gold bracelet for your birthday. Face light up. You think he asked me why I get the money for that? You mean a Sylvester buy him that bracelet? Indirectly, yes. There's a lot of things I had to learn for myself, Maxine. Because you, as a big sister, wasn't there to teach me nothing. For instance, I learned that it makes no sense having a young lover boy who can help you buy nice things? And you feel that his clothes and carnival costume is what is important in life? I ain't even going to waste my time to try and straighten out your mind today. Look, no, you look. The next time you do something like this, you're going to have to find somewhere else to live. You understand? Make your sugar daddy go and find another apartment for you, since he has so much money. So who is this lady? You still want to see me? Uh, this is a place here. 
What jail is this? They're looking fair from about a whole month now. Ever since I come back and collect my results, they say you ain't returning no calls. How that become your business? Use my file or what? Look, I don't care if your damn balls rotten and fall off, right? You give them my phone number as the person to call in case of emergency. Worst mistake I ever make. I don't want no HIV client calling me all of the day. It's messing up my social life. It's like, it have my worry, Jamal. It's like it's bad news they have. Why they insist they have to find you so? Jesus Christ. Anyway, this is probably how to do it for people who don't come back, whether it's as positive or not. Come on, let's go. Think positive. You sure that's what I should do? <laughs> I mean, think positive and you'll test negative. That's what I always say. Yeah, right. Sure. Will it work for me? Loyal listeners, is your boy J-Star here. Just wanted to share something with you. This thing we often take for granted called life is truly a precious and amazing thing. It could be so unpredictable, positive and calm one minute, and then tumultuous and unforgiving the next. But no matter how bad things get, always remember that the bad times make the good times all the more sweet. Always remember that no matter what trials and tribulations you may face, that things are really not so bad and things will get better. In life, we never truly lose. We only lose when we give up. And you know what makes life worth living as well? It's those special people who have our backs when things get rough. No matter how bad it is, you will always find someone who will help you through it. I just want you all to know that I will always be here for you all. When you are in need, I'm your friend indeed. So they say. Yes, I'm just sharing my innermost thoughts with you. We don't want to keep no secrets from one another. For the road of life is a long and winding road which we must all travel together. So if you feel you want to talk, call me. I promise you, I will always be here for you. Always. No one, nothing can keep me away from you. So, what did I say? Look, just drive now. Study the road. Don't study me. Okay, okay. You okay there, man? What did I tell you? Do my favor. Stop the car. Stop? For what? You want to take up the saw? I said stop the car. What the... Do you think I joke not? I said stop the car, Dredd. What are you trying to do, boys? If you're okay, yourself, don't take me with you. I want to come out of this blast car. What happened? I'm not joking, you know. All right, all right. Fix up. You and I will get you like always. <laughs> yeah, what? Let you talk about this while we're gonna do it. Right? Sit down. So what about it? I don't know. I don't know where to start. Well, the beginning is always a good place. Dad. Uh, 
I have HIV. What? Were you, sir? I tested positive for HIV, Dad. No. No. You bullshitting me, right? No, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for letting you and Mom down. This had to be a mistake. This had to be a mistake. Are you sure? No mistake. How, Jama? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get it straight. You don't have AIDS, right? No. Just HIV. So you're telling me that you're dying? I have the disease, Dad. And I'm not sure how my life is going to play off now. I think I'm going out of my mind trying to figure this out. How long have you known? A few months now. Dad, this thing has me in a mess. I'm so confused. I mean, I feel fine. No, no sickness yet. But, but I think about all kind of thing. About how I let you and mom down and bring shame to the family. That what people will say when they find out. Listen, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, you are my son. You know what I'm telling you? And I don't care about what nobody else have to say. You hear this saying? Chip off the old block. Look, you know, what? You and me, we the same. Down to we stick fighting style, eh? <laughs> so they say. Who else now? Jane was with me when I went and collect the results. But she's the first person I tell Dad. Nobody else know. You know nothing, don't stay secret in Trinidad. Oh gosh, Dad. Ma go dead when she find out. Don't study, don't, don't worry about your mother. I will talk to her, all right? Come on. What about Trisha? Oh, Sienna, your girlfriend's unfair. Thinks you will try something out in the water there? Yeah? Good for her. What's up with you, Dredd? You've been acting so for the longest while. You study me now. I just have a lot of things on my mind, that's all. Jay, you and I go way back. Process with bumpers. I know you're better than you know yourself. I know something that will bother you. Ever since we went back to the clinic for them results. I tested positive for HIV, boy. What? What's that? That's the kind of joke we're making. Tom, are you serious? Oh, that's real bullshit. Why you didn't tell me before? I was in a mess when I found out. Ashamed, confused. Jamal, not you. Christ, who you tell? Just my mom and dad so far. Oh, what about Trisha? <laughs> I ain't tell her yet. What? Why? You have to tell her. She needs to go get tested now. I know, I know. Jamal, they've been riding bare back. Jay, you and Trish never use rubbers? How come? She says she prefers to feel the real thing, Dredd. And she's on bird control anyway. Daniel might not believe this, sir, but since Trish and I dealing, I never thought about any other girl. Well, there's no guarantee she'll have the virus and no point jumping to conclusions. But you know how the thing does go? She just have to go get tested now. I suppose. 
I just spread hope that she don't have the virus. If she have it, if she have it, it doesn't mean she get it from you. She could be the one that passed it on to you. No, Dean. She's safe. I'm sure of it. This is something I probably have a long time now. You seriously think that you is the only man she sleep with since the day she born? Come on, man, Jamal, you better than that. So when are you gonna tell her? She needs to know. Don't rush me now, man. He in such a hurry for her to know. Why don't you tell her? This is bullshit. You is an intelligent man. You know all the reasons why people must get tested. Damn it, come up with something on the radio there that nobody never think of before. Just goes to show you know what to talk in when you don't know what the hell you're talking about, eh? Look, she coming. You can tell she why I can't go in the water. I gave him an invitation, but he not listening to me. That's because you don't have the skill. What? <laughs> No trish, no babes, no. Why not? You don't have You've never said no to sex all the time I knew. Look, Trish, I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? Don't make me laugh. Such a bitch of a tender. So what if you was in the mood? All them girls were had to run into water. And the fish. Look, and look. everybody else. Trish, I'm not, I'm not interested in doing anything to do. Okay, I just not in the mood. Oh, you're in a period. They say a man does have a kind of period to you. And if he loves you, it's from the same time as you. Oh gosh, I'm not in the mood. I'm just not interested in doing anything right now. Okay, that's all. Not in the mood? What happened, Jamal? What's going on? Eh? Is somebody else? Who else you sleeping with? Tell me. Look, just because I don't want to do anything, you're not nice sleeping around, Shisha. Then why are you not in the mood? What happened? You don't want me anymore? Look, there's nobody else and there's no other reason. I'm just not in the mood. Look, let me make it simple for you. You take this big hell of a thing, you make it hard. Relax. Trish, no. That's his No, no. You're doing well. Trish, and no. You take your time. Trish, and you... Everything went well? You all had a nice day? We could have had a nice day. Thanks to you and your fast self, now everything mash up. Me? What do I have to do with anything? Don't act like you don't know. Maxine, it's obvious you talk to Jamal. <laughs> I see. Hmm. He find out about the old man, and you think I tell him. You're the only one that know about me and Sylvester? You know, I can't see where you're getting so worked up for him. According to you, Jamal, no. And he welcome it. He glad you have another man. He get a gold bracelet out of the whole thing. So you admit that you're interfering in my business? Look, if it is your business to conduct slackness underneath my roof, then I will do what I choose to do to put a stop to it. Is and yes. that won't count as interfering. Is yes or no, Maxine? You talked to Jamal recently? Since I come here and catch the barefoot man inside my house, no. If he hear about Sylvester, he didn't hear it from me. So what he say exactly? It's more like what he didn't say. You could tell something was bothering him, but... It's like, he don't want me anymore. Well, you bring this on yourself, so don't come crying to me. Jamal, whatever I did to upset you, I'm oh, sorry. You know I love you, and I wouldn't do anything to hit you. 
Please call me back. Please. Damn, girl. You ever thought of taking up acting? <laughs> Sweet TNT. Jump like if you're crazy in the place, swing and shake your way. 